Yeah, that just happened. But let me back up a little first. Okay, we're all disconnected. <laughs> yeah, my pre-apologies, but you will notice that this uh, video is going to jump around a little bit in the timeline, but I will do my best to try to explain to you <laughs> what transpired and why I crashed <coughs> the drone into the lake. The kids were up for the weekend, and initially on the Saturday, which you saw just in this video when I turned the boat around, uh, when they got here, it, we had a lot of rain, so we didn't go anywhere. We just kind of hung around. In the on the boat or just out front of the boat and uh, we had a good time uh, but we couldn't take the boat out so the following Sunday morning we decided to go out it was nice and calm it was really hot so we just went for a short little cruise we were out there for about I don't know half an hour 45 minutes and I decided to just pull the throttles back throw it in neutral shut it off and drift and it was so nice that anchor girl decided maybe she could encourage the kids to uh, jump in the water with her a little bit so we all went on the swim platform splashing our feet and it was really really nice um, initially really really cold but uh, anchor girl and our yeah our daughter and the grandkids they were all in um, individually or together I don't know because I decided since it was so nice and calm and they were all at the back of the boat it would be awesome to get a photo of the boat with everybody sitting there and enjoying a beautiful summer day so how can I do that with the drone oh yeah so let's see let's get that thing up in the air which i did successfully not a problem at all and flying around i got well how do i say this i took some really nice still photos of the kids playing in the water the boat itself me waving at you guys and everything else and a number of video clips however for whatever reason i don't know everything was it was flying good and it was flying great and there was no issues and all of a sudden it went from enough battery power to it dropped way down so it initiated now I'm not gonna say that there was a problem with the drone I'm not gonna say that it, it failed or the batteries crapped out I should have been paying probably a little bit closer attention but I had been glancing at the battery gauge on the remote which is on my phone and it all seemed to be good and the last time I remember looking at it it said about six minutes of battery power left and I really don't think I was flying for another six minutes I could have been I don't know in the excitement and the heat of the day um, what happened was it uh, I got a, a message through the app just saying that um, it's going into return to home because the battery's getting low fine no problem however there is a problem with with uh, initiating the return to home because what it did was it was trying to fly back to from where it took off and then do a, an automatic return and boo, and it will land itself hence the term return to home 
But as you can imagine, since the boat was out in the lake and we were drifting, um, where the boat was when the thing took off, the boat wasn't there anymore. So where it was going to come back down to, <laughs> there would not have been any land to land on. So a uh, little bit of screwing around, I was able to override the return to home and thought, great, beautiful, I'll fly it back to the boat. But again, the issue is that when it, it, it initiates the return to home, I have it set to go up to 200 feet before it tries to fly back to home. Um, because, you know, a lot of tall trees and whatnot around here, I didn't want it to potentially crash into the trees. But in hindsight, that would have probably been a better option. But so what happened was it went up so high, uh, I lost line of sight because it was hazy, you know, all the smoke in the air still from the wildfires and a bright, bright summer uh, afternoon, sunny afternoon, I should say, sorry. Um, so it went up 200 feet. It's like, uh, it's a tiny light, light colored object in a very similarly colored sky, overcast sky. And so I just, you know, looking at the app, I spun the thing around a few times. So, oh, there's the boat. And like I say, I override the return to home, dropped it down to a better altitude, brought it towards me, called up our son-in-law. <laughs> I said, uh, you said we have a problem. I said, come around to the deck with me, front of the boat, and uh, see if you can spot it and help me just guide this thing in, which I saw, he saw, he's waving. I saw it on my app, it's beautiful. All, all was going to be saved. So I'm bringing the thing in to the boat, and honest to God, it was, uh, I'm going to say 100 feet, maybe 200 feet away from the boat, and it, it initiated an emergency landing because there was critical low battery power in that thing. So Kyle and I are standing on the bow of the boat, and we can see it. It's coming right towards us, and he's like, are you okay? You got it? Yeah, and I'm like, good, beautiful, here we come. You know, this may be a little bit messy when it hits the deck, but who cares? Let's just try to save the drone. Got ya. So it's coming towards us, and it's like, Wee -wee. and I can see it on the screen. It's like, Wee -wee. emergency landing initiated. No, 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 no. So it starts to descend, and there was no way I could override that. I think it's because, again, a safety measure uh, through the app that it thinks that if it's, it, you know, it doesn't want to fly no more. Let's just get this thing on the ground and, you know, try to retrieve it. But of course, like I say, there was no ground. Well, there was a lot of, a lot of ground, but it was about 25 to 30 feet below the surface of the water at that point. So here's Kyle and I standing on the deck of boat and going, no, 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 no. We could see it very slowly, gently, safely descending. And it's get right to the water's edge. And of course it has sensors. So it's however to bounce a bit, come down. We could see the water all flying up because of course the blades were just spitting it all up. And it boom. And it's like, no, uh, okay, I've got no control because it's emergency and it's, I guess it's kind of shut down all the remote uh, options for me. And that was the end of that. So uh, we were both like, it, it, I think Kaya even said to me, is it floating? It's going to float. It looks like it's floating. It's like, yeah, it's floating for the next 15 to 20 seconds. And then uh, it will, uh, gravity will overcome the weight and it'll go down. So it was real quick. Anchor girl, out of the water. We're going over there. What happened? I said, the drone went down. We can see it. I want to drive the boat over there. So by the time uh, she got out of the water, started the boat, and drove over there, it, it was gone. I mean, I left Kyle standing. I said, just stay here. And I said, just point to where it is, or at least where you last saw it, and I will drive the boat over to it. And we'll see if it's, if, you know, hope against hope that it'll still be on the surface or close to the surface, or I could <laughs> volunteer somebody jump in the water to look for it. But it was gone. We can see, we couldn't find it. Well, but. <sighs> so that's that. So lost the drone, it's gone. And I can't say I lost it because I know exactly where it is. Like I say, it's about 25 to 30 feet <laughs> under the water surface, resting on the bottom of Lake Simcoe. Um, unfortunately, since it went down, like I said to Kyle, I said, oh man, it would be so cool if it filmed while it was going down, see the water spraying up and everything else, but it didn't do that. And uh, again, I guess because it was a critical uh, a power situation battery power it just shut down everything other than landing so anyways that was that so the footage how did I get the footage you're asking well I'm gonna tell you uh, through the app which is I use on my phone it's not actually an old pixel phone and it will save 
uh, a lower resolution like 720 so HD but not super HD or anything else and I'll save it right within the app on the phone so it only saved I think about five clips or whatever I'm have shown you or I am showing you uh, through that app but none of the still photos which is sad and it did not film that last little bit and I'm not gonna hold my breath and <laughs> swim to the bottom of the water to to uh, retrieve that brand new brand new SD card which like honestly because when I first fired up the machine that day for that incident um, it said SD card error so I had ever trusty Kyle I said run downstairs I told him where the, my camera bag is I said there's a brand new SD card still in the package so I brought it up popped it in so <sighs> yeah <laughs> anyways bottom line is we had a rousing time with the kids and the grandkids that weekend and we are looking forward to do it again Hint, however no uh, no drone not this year anyways but whatever que sera sera it was a fun day, so I guess next year I have to buy myself a new drone. And you know what the kicker is? Uh, it's a DJI. It was, well, it's a waterlogged DJI Mini, the first uh, first uh, version, which I, I think I bought that thing three years ago. Yeah, three years ago, 2020. And uh, um, you can buy what is called DJI Care Protect or something like that, so it was like, $49 US a year and they will replace it if you crash it or anything else and they will replace it under this warranty program which is basically insurance however after the first year so I initially put that on after the first year I didn't renew it and anchor girl says well is that still in effect and I said no no because I figured three years of whatever the cost would have been um, no I would have been halfway through to the price of a new one at least that's how I how I worked up the math in my mind so I don't have the coverage for it so it'll be an out-of-pocket expense to replace it which I'm not going to do it this year real-time 2023 so you can look forward to me not crashing my new drone next year anyways let's get back to the video let's go back back in time Whew, it is a hot one a hot one a hell one uh, what's the date today yeah. your coffee's out the back already yeah Anyways, um, 24th. yeah, the kids and the grandkids are coming for the day. So uh, it, it was felt to be prudent if we back the boat up. It's just a lot easier for the little kids because, you know, they're going to go on the boat, off the boat, flush the toilet, off the boat, come to the boat, flush the toilet, off the boat, flush the toilet, come out exactly. the boat. Ba <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, so <laughs> I was just saying anchor girl, we should actually go over for a pump out since we're moving the boat anyways, but we didn't because we yeah we only had a pump out last sunday so we'll get we'll go get another one tomorrow yes another pump out but so this is it this is my entire video for this weekend probably because the kids will be here and i will be busy entertaining them making sure everybody's having a good time and making sure the toilet doesn't overflow <laughs> so yeah that's or it get for, clogged. or get clogged yeah well hopefully that that's not gonna happen so anyways uh so yeah, from a very hot 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 humid first weekend of summer 2023 Ooh. aboard the boogaboo facing completely wrong way which is confusing our little pussycat all together <laughs> i bid you uh adieu and i look forward to your comments and see you in the next one cheers